Hey guys, um, we're going to be covering simplifying thirds in this session. But before we get started, I um, just want to talk about um, perfect squares. If you can't remember it, this is when you have 1 squared, which equals 1, 2 squared, which equals 4, and 3 squared, which is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, and so on. Now, it helps to know these num um, the perfect squares because when you're trying to simplify thirds, um, you know, well, because you can actually square root these numbers to a perfect numbers, it'll help out. All right, let's have a look at a couple of examples. So let's say we want to simplify square root of 72. So what we need to do is look for a, a number that's going to be multiplying... Oh, factor of 72 which is a perfect square and in this case it would actually be 36 times 2 alright so which means you can separate this as square root of 36 multiplied by square root of 2 and when you do this you will get square root of 36 which is 6 and the square root of 2 as it is so looking at another example this time I want to look at square root of 25a cubed. So what I can do here is I can separate everything into square root of 25 and square root of a cubed. But square root of a cubed you can separate it further um, as, well let's actually do the square root of 25 first, so that's 5. Square root of a cubed could be separated as a squared and square root of a by itself now we know that we can square root a squared and it would become just a and the square root of a well that just remains as it is so so whenever you're trying to simplify thirds you're just trying to bring it down to its most simplest form I guess okay let's look at one more example okay this time I'd like to simplify this third which is 49 a cubed b squared c7 so what I'm going to try and do this time is I'm going to separate um, the powers of a, b, c into even numbers so that I, I can actually square root it. So for example, I've got 49 there, but a cubed, I'm just going to do a squared. b squared, I'm going to leave it as it is. And c to the power of 7, I'm going to separate it as c to the power of 6. So extend the square root symbol and I'll put the remaining things in there. So obviously the remaining one is A by itself and C because now this should make it A cubed C to the power of 7. Now what I could do is I could actually square root everything in the purple line and the AC I'm just going to leave it as it is. So if I square root 49 I'll get 7 and then if I square root A squared I'll get A b squared is just b, c to the power of 6, if I square root, I'll get c to the power of 3, and, hold on, let's get that right, there we go, c cubed, and that's multiplied by square root of ac. Alright guys, that's some of the basic ideas for simplifying thirds. Um, yeah, um, that's it from this session, thanks for watching.